Welcome to Kingdom News Now. We're so glad that you're with us today. We trust you had a great day today and that the Lord has just blessed you and your family and everything that you put your hands to do because that's a promise we have. Yes. That wherever we step our feet, he's, he'll bless us. Whatever we do with our hands, he'll bless us. Absolutely. And we declare those blessings upon you and your family and your life today. Amen. Amen. We uh, Sitting next to me, of course, is our good friend, Mayor Rusty Wilson. Amen. It's so good to see you Thank today. Thank you. Always good to be here. Yes. Yes. Always good to Amen. have you here and and, uh, and all. And as you can tell by behind us, we are getting close to the holidays. Yes. And, Amen. And uh, getting close to Different Thanksgiving. view. Yes. Amen. <laughs> and uh, we're excited about the holidays coming up. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. There's something about the holidays that, that it, it changes yeah. when you get older. Exactly. Especially when the <laughs> cooler weather. Yes. Then the holiday, you know, it's like, yeah, you're like, okay. You know, as a child, as a child growing up, you know, when the holidays come, you're excited because, number one, you're going to be out of school for right. a few weeks. Yeah. And number two, you're going to get something for Christmas. Exactly. You know, you're excited about presents and gifts and, mm -hmm. and such as that and, and yeah. big dinners and, yeah. and lots of food and, <laughs> exactly. and all that. But some of that changes when you get oh, older. Oh, it does. It does. <laughs> and actually, in the mornings, you know, you have that cup of coffee yeah. and it's cool outside. Yes. And you're like, hmm. Okay. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I said to somebody the other day, I, 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 you know, I love being retired, right. if you want to call what I do retired. Right. <laughs> we work as hard today as we ever yes. did, but yes. I love being retired because I set my own schedule. Whatever oh, I want to do, I get right to do here. it. <laughs> right. Exactly. You know, and so... Uh, oh, because uh, when, I, when I called it semi-retirement two and a half years ago, you know, I went from uh, full-time semi-retired to busy. <laughs> right, yes, I know, I know, and uh, Lisa and I keep the roads hot, right, you know, where we're going on the road all the time, Amen. and such, but anyway, we're glad that you're with us yes. today, and we trust that you're excited as well about Amen. the holiday season coming up, Amen. and we're, it's going to be right here on us, yep. uh, just next few weeks, it's going to be Thanksgiving, and and then, of course, Christmas and New mm -hmm. Year and, and such. And I can't believe how fast it's gone by Oh, this I know. Year. It's, it's uh, wow. And that's one of the things that changes when you get older. It is, exactly. It, it goes fast. By. Yeah. And Especially when you get out of school. It's yes. Like, whew, yes. You know. Amen. We want to share just a little bit today what we've got on our heart to share with you and, and what the Lord's laid on our heart. And, and so we, we're going we're gonna to go to some scripture and, and share some things. Before we do, let me share this with you real quickly. Mm -hmm. And that is that you can now view Kingdom News Now on Spotify. Uh, they're normally a podcast platform, but, but you can view Kingdom News Now on, on Spotify, on Rumble, on YouTube. Uh, and then, of course, you can listen to uh, Kingdom Power Broadcast, which is mm -hmm. our, our actual podcast mm -hmm. uh, radio program mm -hmm. on iTunes and iHeart, and then also even on, and all of the major, mm -hmm. uh, that's only some of them, on all of the major platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, that and, takes, and even the Kingdom News Now. Yes. On iTunes. Yes, on iTunes. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, yes. And yeah. so you can view Kingdom News Now on iTunes as well. And so uh, uh, the and then also, of course, you've got the Gospel Rockin' Radio yes. out of Harrison, Arkansas Amen. that you can listen to online Amen. at gospelrockinradio.com. Amen. Amen. Every Monday and Tuesday at mm -hmm. 1 o'clock p.m. Amen. You can Amen. listen to the podcast or the radio program, mm -hmm. whichever one. I guess being on the radio, it's a radio program. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to it on one of the other platforms, it's a podcast. Right. But uh, anyway, just want to throw that out there for you so you could uh, know where you can watch and listen exactly. to. Exactly. And, Amen. of course... You know, YouTube, it premieres every Saturday morning yep. at 9.30 Central Time. Amen. We have a brand new program that comes up mm -hmm. every Saturday morning. It's mm -hmm. the same program that airs on the Now Network yes. uh, and such on, on Roku. So uh, those are brand new each week. Yep. Uh, each week on all the others, but it may be very during the week a little bit. It varies a little bit during the week on uh, well, when they actually get uploaded Amen. and such. And so, also Kingdom Power Podcast, they will be able to listen to on YouTube. Yes. It's like it's these platforms are opening up to right. where, you know, you put it for a video and it goes to audio too. So it's like Amen. it's it's like, okay, whatever you so say. So if you're in a car driving somewhere and you can't watch, you can still you, you listen can, to it. You can listen to it. Yeah. You can still listen you to bet. it. So that's awesome. Yes. That's awesome. So anyway, be sure and do that and, and connect with us and yes. let us let us know where you're where you're listening Amen. from. Amen. And what you're listening to and such. So, right. you know, I said, you know, we're entering the holiday season mm -hmm. and uh, Thanksgiving's just around the corner. Uh, but we want to talk today from 
from, uh, we're actually going to go to Romans chapter 7, uh, somewhere around verse 20, 21. But you know, before we get there, Galatians chapter 5, verse 7 tells mm-hmm. us that you did run well. Mm-hmm. But what has hindered you from obeying the truth? You know, I believe, Rusty, today there's many Christians today that have great intentions yes. of following God Amen. with all their heart. Absolutely. I'm talking about Christians. Absolutely. I'm talking about those that are born again. Mm-hmm. They've got great intentions of serving God and, mm-hmm. and following God with, with everything they have. But the evil world that we live in today mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. has other intentions. Absolutely. For you and Absolutely. I, for every one of us, mm-hmm. they've got other intentions for us. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, you know, Scripture says you did run well, mm-hmm. but what has hindered you? Right. Something has come between you and your race exactly. in the kingdom of God. Exactly. And tried to halt you and tried to stop you and tried to prevent you from finishing. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of what we want to talk about a little bit today is, is uh, the things that tries to come between us and God mm-hmm. and, and such. And so uh, I tell you what, why don't you just go to the phone and call your friends and family and let them yes. know that Kingdom News Now is back on the air mm-hmm. and they need to be watching or listening mm-hmm. uh, and such. And so... Uh, uh, because all of us need to hear this. Right. I mean, we may not tell you anything that you don't already know, mm-hmm. but you need to be reminded that mm-hmm. there's a real devil out there. That's right. And he messes exactly. with your mind and exactly. he messes with our bodies and such. And so, you know, a- as we talk the difference on that, on mm-hmm. our mind and our heart, the one thing we've got to understand is that uh, the devil, our, the devil is attacking our faith. Yes. The devil is attacking our heart, and to get to the heart, now that, you know, some may disagree, okay? Mm-hmm. To get to our heart, he goes to our mind. That's it. That's exactly right. Because you think about it. Yes. Then you either allow it in or you don't allow it in. Amen. It's like the Word of God. You get a hold of the Word. Before you get it down here, you're going to have to get it Amen. out here. Amen. Through the eyes and through the, you know. You know, the Scripture even says that, that we're to cast down imaginations. Yes. You know, the things Amen. that the enemy tries to throw in front of us and tries to get our minds to focus on, yes. we need to get rid of them. Mm-hmm. Somebody said, well, I can't stop a thought from crossing my mind. You may not stop it mm-hmm. from crossing, right. but you can stop from dwelling on it. That's right. <laughs> because when we dwell on those thoughts, that's when we get in trouble. You know, we need to cast that thing aside as soon as it enters. And if someone says, how can I, how can I do that? Because the thought, because the enemy knows. Yes. If he can put that thought in your mind, you're going to give at least one second of thought on it. Yes. Amen. You have to. Yeah. Right. right. That, that way you can determine that this is not of God or this is right. of God. He knows if he can twist that tr- truth just enough, you're like, you give it two seconds to think about it. That's right. So that's one thing we've got to make sure we don't. You know, no. the attack that's upon the body of Christ. Mm-hmm. And we're going to talk about the body of Christ more, much more than we are the world and right. the sinners today. Absolutely. Because I believe that, that it's you and I, the body, mm-hmm. that he attacks so hard. Yes. I mean, the truth is, let's face it, he's already got the world. Mm-hmm. He's already got the sinner at this point. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm talking to the Christians today. Mm-hmm. Amen. There's an attack upon the body of Christ yes. that if the enemy can keep us busy and worried about the things in our lives, then we tend to forget what the Word says. Yes. You know, so if he, <laughs> if he can keep us yes. busy and, yes. and uh, worried about what's going mm-hmm. on in the world and worried, I mean, you know, there's lots of bad stuff going on in the mm-hmm. world, you know, but if he can keep us worried and, and busy about mm-hmm. our everyday life, our everyday, uh, you know, our, our agenda and, yes. and such that we have to take care of, and we do have a lot to take care of right. in our families, our homes, but mm-hmm. if he can keep us focused on that, mm-hmm then he can slip something into our thoughts and, and, and into our hearts. Absolutely. Amen. So Absolutely. I want us to talk a little bit today about our mind versus our heart. Mm-hmm. Amen. So Romans chapter 7, verse 21 through 25. Now, we had this conversation before we went on the air today. I'm not sure what the difference between King James Version and Authorized King James Version, right. but I'm reading it from the Authorized King yeah. James Version. <laughs> Uh, verse 21 through 25 says, I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. Mm-hmm. But I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind. Now we're talking about somebody who has their mind fixed mm-hmm. on Christ. Mm-hmm. But there's some other things going on that's warring against the law of your mind yes. and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, mm-hmm. which is in my members. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. O wretched man that I am. Mm-hmm. 
Who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Mm -hmm. I thank God. There's his answer, who shall? Mm -hmm. I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. So then with my mind, I myself serve the law of God, mm -hmm. but with the flesh, the law of sin. Mm -hmm. Now, we could get really deep with this. Absolutely. And we could really go <laughs> lots of different ways, right. but we have to stay focused because exactly. we're limited here. <laughs> we're limited. Amen. So, so we just want to share just a, a, a quick thing about this. Yes. There are two sets of laws we're talking about. Absolutely. You know, we've got the law of God and we've got the law of the flesh. Yes. And the law of God is a good law. The law of the flesh is not a good law. Mm -hmm. Man's laws, now I'm talking about man's laws yeah. on this earth, mm -hmm. in this nation, mm -hmm. are not all bad. Right. You know, they're not all good either, mm -hmm. but they're not all bad. You know, laws were created for the good of mm -hmm. mankind. That's why right. they that's why they made the laws. If you have a twenty five mile an hour speed limit, it's that's okay. Right. It's not saying you can't. Some people say, Well, I can't do twenty five. Oh yes you can. Yes you can. Okay. You have to be doing twenty five before you get to forty. Exactly. <laughs> so you stop there. Put on cruise, okay? But think about this for just a second. The law of God is not that hard to follow. Right. What do we have to do? Crucify our flesh. Yes. Amen. We have a. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point my hand up like right here. In admittance, it's hard at times to crucify the flesh. Sure. Absolutely. Because you you want to do it so so badly, so much, that sometimes you just end up doing it. Amen. Like you go to, you go to that all you can eat. Uh, restaurant <laughs> and you're like you know you're not supposed to eat the whole area right. okay right. <laughs> steaks pork chop what you know what i'm saying yeah. but the fact is if you go get certain things and say okay i'm going to stop right here Amen. Amen. then that's where you get the crucifying of the flesh yes. there's other areas of that but the Amen. fact is the mind has to be Make the mind subject to the yes. heart. Amen. Say, no, I'm not going to put it in my heart. Amen. And, and the truth is, we do have control of the mind. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We do have control of our flesh. Mm -hmm. But it's up to us to walk in that. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, I said we live in a world today mm -hmm. that all the laws that are, that are man-made mm -hmm. are not all good laws. No. The abortion laws are not good laws. No. When you can take a baby's life and kill it right. at seven, eight, nine months uh, into the pregnancy, that's not a good law. Mm -hmm. But they've made that legal. Right. Somebody said, well, no, no they, they, they said in that debate you know, the other day that, that uh, uh, they, there wasn't any states that would do that. There are seven states right now in the United right. States that pass laws that they can murder babies from seven months to nine months yeah. during that yeah. last trimester yeah. of the pregnancy. They can murder the baby. Now, I know what they said. Can I tell you they lied? Yeah. Whoever said that lied. Yes. So I'm telling you, there are those laws in place already, mm -hmm. homosexual laws, where, where men marry men and women right. marry women and such. My Bible still says a marriage is between one man exactly. and one woman. If we can go by this, mm -hmm. they may try to get us in trouble, whatever, but if we go by it like this, God will vindicate. Amen. He will, Amen. He will bring us out on top. They're like they, in, the, in, in, in the prisons. Was it Peter and John or yes. Peter uh, where the, 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 the gate bursted open, blew open? Yes. They're like, what not us? Amen. Because the fact is we get so concerned about on certain things, even on program. Let me just sure. bring this out. What we're going to say, we're going to get in trouble. Let me tell you something. Let, let God take care of that. If God says Amen. speak this, speak it. Amen. Let me tell you something real quick on abortion, okay? Mm -hmm. If they would put their time more into not trying to legalize abortion and put it into where families can adopt yes. children, yes. let me tell you something. They're not pushing for adoption. Amen. They're pushing for death. Amen. When you push for death, then you know what? You, you're in trouble. Amen. Push. I'm going to say it. This is not a campaign slogan. No. Push for adoption. Absolutely. Make it cheap enough to where the families can do it, Amen. Amen. You know, doctors, that if you're doing, if you're a doctor and you do abortions, you need to change your heart and say, we need these babies to be adopted, Amen. 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 Many, many of you know 
I have an adopted daughter. Mm -hmm. My youngest daughter was adopted. Her birth mother, her biological birth mother, mm -hmm. uh, thought she was on her way to an abortion clinic, but she wasn't. Mm -hmm. She wound up being at a safe house, mm -hmm. and she wound up, they talked her into saving that baby yes. and putting that baby up for adoption. Mm -hmm. And we wound up with that baby. Amen. Amen. She was literally thought she was on her way to, a, to, to the abortion clinic. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking 30 years ago, so it wasn't as obvious, it wasn't as prevalent then as it is today, 30-something right. years ago. Right. But what I'm saying is, is that what Rusty just said is, is push for the adoption. Mm -hmm. Amen. I can tell you, I can preach all day long on, on being adopted into the kingdom of Amen. God. I don't care if it only costs $500. It doesn't matter. If even if it costs $10. Right, right. You know, we know paperwork costs money. Okay, sure. put a $500 bill on it. Amen. Someone is going to raise money to get those children. Amen. You know, the enemy plays so much with our minds. Yes, it is. Um, yes, he does. And, and, it ha and I'm not just talking about, again, not to the world. I'm talking about to the church, yes. talking to the body of Christ, talking to the ministry, mm -hmm. uh, to the lay people. Mm -hmm. that, and it happens so regularly that sometimes you can predict it. Yes. You know? Exactly. He's right. just, you say it a lot, he's just a dumb devil. He is a dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Sometimes it's, it, he, he uses a lot of the same things over and over and Amen. over. And so much to the point that it's, it's predictable. Yes. The moment that we decide to do good, mm -hmm. sin is right there to trip yeah, us up. Absolutely. That absolutely. very moment. Absolutely. You know, that we, we make up our minds, okay, mm -hmm. God, you, you've moved on me. Uh, I felt your presence in the church service, mm -hmm. whatever it was, whenever it was. Uh, I've repented. And immediately the enemy comes. Absolutely. To try to tempt you to do something that you know mm -hmm. is not right. That's right. So we have to, we, we really want to know the commands of God, mm -hmm. but it's pretty obvious that there's a part of us that wants to do what the flesh wants. Absolutely. Just like you were saying, well, oh, we're about the buffet. You yeah. Know? Our body and our mind sometimes wants to rebel. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're not careful, they will take control. Mm -hmm. Our body, our flesh will take control. Mm -hmm. And so your body and your mind will take charge of the situation if you're not careful. That's why we have to stand on Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Yes. I want Rusty to read that okay. from the version he has. I can, I can read it from, from uh, King James, but I want you to go ahead and read it. Well, the passage translation, this is where something that the Holy Spirit, when you first read it, like, whoa, okay. But it says, uh, Romans 12, 1 in the Passion says, Beloved friends, what should our... What should be our proper response to God's miraculous, marvelous, sorry, marvelous mercies? I encourage you to surrender yourselves to God to be His sacred, yes. living sacrifices, yes. Amen. and live in holiness, experiencing all that delights His heart, not our heart, Amen. His heart. For this becomes your genuine <laughs> Come on. expression. Of worship. Let me read that again. For this becomes your genuine expression of worship. But he doesn't stop there. Verse 2. Stop imi imi imitating. Stop imitating the ideals and opinions of the culture around you. Amen? Amen. But be inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through our ref reformation of how you think. This will empower you to discern God's will and you live a beautiful life, satisfying and perfect in His eyes. Amen. Amen. Stop imitating the ideals and opinions of the culture yes. around you. Yeah. Amen. We have to stop that. If we're going to live according to the Word, mm -hmm. if we're going to take control of our lives yeah. uh, the way that God would have us to, uh, then we have to stop imitating the world mm -hmm. you know I, I, I've said this for many many years and, and lots of other folks have too and that mm -hmm. is that you know we try to live so close to the world that mm -hmm. we're, we're going to make it to heaven but, but we try to get as close to the world as we can get and still Amen. get there and Amen. the truth is we ought to be trying to live as far away from the world and unlike the world as we can and still remain on this earth. Yes. That's what we should be doing. Exactly. Amen. It will empower you to discern God's will as you live a beautiful life, satisfying and perfect in God's eyes. Amen. Amen. So the, know, Bi the Bible says, if we will walk with the wise, yes. 
who will become one. I had you read Romans 12 because, mm -hmm. because Romans chapter 7, verse 20, uh, somewhere right around 25. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to read it from the Passion. It says, I give all my thanks to God for mm -hmm. His mighty power has finally provided a way out through our Lord Jesus. Now, we read this in King James earlier. Mm -hmm. But uh, the Passion says, uh, He's provided a way out through Lord Jesus, the Anointed One. So I left. So if I left it to myself, mm -hmm. the flesh is aligned with the law of sin. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that. We understand that. If you're saved and, and you've been around really true Bible-believing Christians, you mm -hmm. know that. Absolutely. That the flesh is aligned with the law of sin. Mm -hmm. But now my renewed mind <laughs> Amen. is fixed on and submitted to the righteousness of God's principles. I want to add something right here. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you get into that word for a certain amount of time, I guarantee you, you're going to start thinking on this. If you seriously say, I'm going to, I'm going to change my life. Amen. If I start reading the word, I start speaking the word, my focus is going to be right there. Amen. Anytime you focus on something, let's say on this, on this lesson right here, when you focus on it, a little later, Jack's going to start to continue sure. talking about it. Sure. Because you've been so focused right. on it, right. that's what you know at that point in time. Right. So whatever scriptures you're reading, get a hold of it. Amen. Let it change. Renew your mind with that word. Why? Because what you what word you start using is what word you will be. Amen. That's it. That's right. You know, uh, I know we've got just uh, three or four minutes left, mm -hmm. uh, but I want us to I want us to be able to pray at the end of this, sure. this program today. But but Matthew fifteen eight says, mm -hmm. "This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth." And honoreth me with their lips, mm -hmm. but their heart is far from far me. Far from me, yeah. And and many times we want to run into people in the church whose whose mind, okay, they'll come to church and they say, "Well, I'm saved," and they'll shout and mm -hmm. they'll have a great time in church and they'll holler "Amen" to the preacher. Yep. But when they leave the church, yeah. their heart don't line up <laughs> right. with their mind. <laughs> right. You know, they live a totally different lifestyle, and that's what he's saying here is people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and they honor me with their lips. They'll worship me, mm -hmm. but their heart's far from me. Exactly. We're talking to somebody here today, yeah. Yeah. amen, that I yeah. believe you, you've, you've lived that type of lifestyle. You, you go to church, you're faithful to church, and yes. that's awesome. God will bless you for that. You're faithful amen. in paying your tithes. That's great. God mm -hmm. will bless you for that. Mm -hmm. But when you leave the church, mm -hmm. do you really live the life right. that you just come walked out of from the church. Exactly. You know? A quick example. Mm -hmm. You come to me and say, we're going to pray. I'm thinking totally on something else. Mm -hmm. You come to me and you say, we're going to pray for this. I, and I go, yes, amen. Yeah. My my heart is not right there yet right. Right. until I get my focus on what he's saying. I can do a quick response and say, yes, amen. But my, my heart is way amen. far from what he's talking. Amen. You know, many folks have a hard time mm -hmm. getting... God from here yeah. to here. here. You know, they have a hard time getting God from their mind to their heart. They serve God mm -hmm. with their mind, mm -hmm. but not with their heart. You can think about it Absolutely. all you want to. Yes. <laughs> and we have to recognize that our mind is filled yes. with this world's junk. That's right. That's you right. know, And when our hearts are becoming separated from the Word of God, it's because of what's in our mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to understand and recognize that that God is not the author, number one, of no. confusion, mm -mm. his word says. Mm -mm. He is the author and finisher of our faith. And so as long as we will trust him, he will see us through. Mm -hmm. He'll see us through. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so we have to understand that what we put in here, mm -hmm. if we're not careful mm -hmm. because of the works of the flesh, will trickle on down to here. Yes. If it's fleshly. Amen. Now we have to work sometimes to get it from here to here spiritually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if it's fleshly thoughts and fleshly things, we don't have to work nearly as hard over no. it. No, no. You know, and uh, you know, so I, I believe today that, that you may be watching this program today. Mm -hmm. and, and if you are, that may, we, we may be talking about you. Yes. And I want you to understand that, that Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have failed him many mm -hmm. times over and over. We've all failed him at times. But maybe you have done it. Maybe you have, have lived the life that we're talking about. And I'm here to tell you today that he still forgives you. Amen. When you Amen. ask him. Amen. When you Amen. pray and ask God to forgive you for whatever you've done, 
you know, you know the right way, but you haven't done the right way. Mm -hmm. You know, you agree with even what I'm saying, but you got to do more than just agree mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, mm -hmm. and we've all read this as memes. We've all seen this. We've all said this. You know, it, it doesn't matter how many, how many Christian memes that you like. Mm -hmm. On Facebook or mm -hmm. Instagram or wherever, you know, it's the it's the ones that you live. Exactly. That's going to get Amen. you. There. He's not going to ask you, did you no. like this post no. or did you not like this post? Exactly right. He's not going to ask exactly. you that. Mm -hmm. He's going to say, was it in your heart? Mm -hmm. Amen. Did you live this? Mm -hmm. Amen. So we want to pray. Yes. We want to take just a moment and pray mm -hmm. for all of you that's that's watching today. Right. And if and if that we've been talking to you today. We want you to call the number that's on the screen. We want you to contact us. Mm -hmm. You can text us, call us, whatever you need to do, and uh, we will respond back to you. If you don't get an answer uh, on the phone, call back or leave a message. If you leave mm -hmm. a message, I promise you someone will call you back. Amen. Amen. So let's pray. Father, yes. in the Thank name you, of Jesus. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, as we even look into this camera today, Jesus. Father, Lord, to those that are watching this program, mm -hmm. to those that may be listening by radio or podcasts, Father, we mm -hmm. ask you right now, you, Father, that you will move in their home, you, in Father. their room where they are right now. Father, we ask by your presence, yes. Father, will we'll yes. show up in that place where they're sitting. Mm -hmm. Father, right now that you will move upon them, convict their hearts, Father, of... of what they have said, what they have done, you, the life they've lived, Father, and ask you, Lord, as they repent right now before Jesus. you, as yes. they just repent and say, Lord, forgive me of all my sin. Forgive yeah. me yeah. of the life that I've lived. Forgive me of the lie that I've lived. And, and I want to receive you. I want to accept yes. you yes. into my heart and yes. live the rest Thank of my you, life Father. for you. Yes. Amen. I'm telling you, if you pray those words, yes. you're as assured for heaven as if you're Amen. already there. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you that he will hear and answer your prayer. Yes. Father, right now, in yes. Jesus' name. In Jesus Father, name. we thank you for thank each you, one of them. Father, the that, they, of that they will repent and receive you today mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 If that, that ministered to you, if this word is ministered to you, we want you to contact us and let us know today. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't allow your mind to overrule your heart right. unless it's already been renewed exactly. by the Spirit of God and by exactly. the Word of God. Amen. Amen. We Amen. love you. Yes. Amen. We appreciate you. Check us out, kingdomnewsnow.org. Amen. With tons of ways that you've seen come mm -hmm. across the bottom of your screen mm -hmm. on contacting us today and what we mentioned earlier in the program. Yes. Amen. So we wait to hear from you. Yes. Amen. But until we see you again, mm -hmm. remember what time it is. Yes. It's, time it's time to testify. To testify. Amen. Amen. God bless you.